Hey everybody, Metal Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Elden Ring. Oh, look up there. There's like some kind of uh, fog wall up there, it looks like. Or is that just the, like the seal that uh, you have to pass through to get to Raya Lucaria Academy? I think that's probably what that is. Looking up here. Back this way. Yeah, that's what that is. Right now, what we're trying to do... Oh wow, he walked over there. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to get on top of this thing, and I think we figured it out right at the end of the last episode. There are these steps here that we could use to kind of drop down, and uh, there's some over there too. And then we could probably get on that lip there, either, um, you know, drop down to this lip or this lip, or, or heck, maybe even drop on top and then drop down from there. But I think this is the only way that we could get to this thing, because you know, last episode we tried to, uh, you know, knock off the stuff on his feet that we'd done before that allowed us to get him to stop moving around. But uh, he didn't have anything on his feet. His feet, his feet were clean, uh, so there was no way for us to do that. Um, but yeah, I guess we're gonna have to wait till he walks over here. So just wait a moment. Do, 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 do. Up here behind us is the Bellum Hideway. Here is the Finger Reader Crone, who we've spoken to several times before. We've got ourselves a nice little site to rest at right there if we need to. And then uh, Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. We will go back in there once we have uh, done something with all of these runes that we've got. I don't want to go down in there and fight a boss with all these runes. Come on, dude, get over here. I don't, I mean, I, I had the thought that do I need to go back down there and kind of like chase him in this direction, you know, uh, by swatting at his feet. I don't know. I hope I don't have to go back down there and do that, but he's kind of just standing there right now. Uh, is he going to make his way over here? I don't know. Yeah, he's taking a step in this direction. So hopefully if we're patient, he will eventually make his way over here. Get a nice look over at the academy. And then beyond the academy over there, what do we got? What do you think that is? I don't remember what that is. We're looking back this way. I mean, are we looking at the Rose Church? No, Rose Church is like down in the swamp. So that's not Rose Church. Could be converted tower we're seeing way off in the distance. Uh, the converted tower was also down, um, kind of at the bottom of a hill, not at the top of a hill. So I'm not sure what we're looking at over there. As we wait for this guy to slowly saunter his way over here, he's making he is making his way over here sure exactly which path we'll take to get to him but he should be here pretty soon so yeah look at the map again I mean it looks like we're looking at something beyond Raya Lucaria I don't know Talk on. he's getting closer okay so do you think I need to drop down this way it's kind of starting to look like it all right, let's try this. Boy, this is going to be hilarious when I die after all this waiting. It's going to be a, a right hoot. Yeah, this might be it. Oh boy, this is making me very nervous. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we've made it. to just run around here just to see if there's anything up here. Could be a huge mistake. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're making our way around. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, gosh. Okay. Whew. Okay, so now we just want to plop down here. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, well, we've made it. <laughs> there better be something really, really cool in here after all that. My goodness. What? I can't open the freaking door. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. Ah, okay, the stuff is up here that we need to get rid of. And maybe this will make him... Oops, um, stop moving around. Oh boy, how much of it do I have to get rid of? And it's kind of hard to... time my chops correctly. Alright, let's see if we see any more of this stuff. I'll hear some right here. Oh boy. Oh, are we going down? Are we going down? I think we're going down. How freaking cool is this? No, 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 no. I fell off. Oh, no. Okay, we can get back up. Well, I just slid right off of that thing. Okay, now is this door open? It is. Whew. Wow, that was scary. Yep, it's just another one of these things. I mean, it just... Why did I fight so hard for this when I've already got, what, two... At least two other of these to do this? Uh, so this is where we can duplicate these things, I think. Remembrance duplication. We have remembrance of the grafted. Take the power of its namesake via finger reader. What? Remembrance of Godric, the grafted. Hewn into the Erd tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. A feeble man sought power through the grotesque act of grafting. One day we'll return together to our home bathed in rays of gold. And this is the remembrance of the full moon queen. Remembrance of Renala, queen of the full moon, hewn into the Erd tree. Uh, same thing there. In her youth, Renala was a prominent champion who charmed the Academy with her lunar magic, becoming its master. She also led the Glintstone Knights and established the House of Caria as royalty. Okay, so, um, does this cost me anything to do? Like, if I wanted to duplicate this, duplicate Remembrance of the Grafted. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's a one-time deal here. I can't duplicate the other one, it would seem. Uh, but now that I've duplicated that... I mean, I still only see one of them here, so where is the duplicated one? Or is that the duplicated one and the other one is up here somewhere? I don't see it. I don't know what I just did. I don't know. I have no idea. There's so much crap about this game that makes no sense to me at all. Doesn't mean I'm not having fun playing it, but... What the hell? Where is this thing that I just duplicated? <laughs> Beats the hell out of me, man. I don't know. I don't know, that was a lot of work for a lot of nothing, but whatever. Um, okay, well, in the meantime, I still have a bunch of runes I need to get up to... 22.9 if I want to... Oh, look, there's still more of this stuff here. So I didn't have to hit all of it. As a matter of fact, if I hit, hit it now, it does nothing, so... Well, it would help if I could aim, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's run back over here. Uh, we'll go back over to this site. And... Um, we'll level up. And then we'll go down and we'll see what kind of boss awaits for us at the bottom of this place. Oh, actually, uh, there's a place here that I, we didn't visit before that I want to visit now. Get our little lamp out. Oh, is that all that's here? 
Okay. I gotta risk my life dropping down here. Pick up this cracked crystal. Maybe one day I'll know what it's for. Okay, so I need... Three thousand uh, runes to level up. So we'll just go ahead and do this here. How much is this one worth? Eight hundred. Okay, we're not there yet. This should do it. Oh, pff, that more than did it. It's early in the morning. I don't feel like doing any math in my head right now. Level up. Get our vigor up even higher. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see what's down here at the bottom of this horrible, horrible place. Hey, in the meantime, I'll pick up some more cracked crystal because who knows if we need it or not. And who knows if I'm going the right way. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. I come over here to this and take it down. Hopefully nobody will shoot at me as I go down. Go down here. Now, how do I go down further? <laughs> Dude fell to his death. Okay, I'm not happy about having to fight off these guys. But I've forgotten the beeline path of how to get here. Um, do I run across here and go through? God, I don't remember, man. I thought that there was another... So that's where I want to go down there. Hey look, more cracked crystal. This doesn't feel right. Ah, jeez, I don't remember at all. And, it, and it, I just played this yesterday. Okay, is this the way? Let's see. Let's see if this is it. Oh, now I'm going... Oh. Now I'm going up. Um... <laughs> I have no idea. I don't remember at all how to get there. Not even a little bit. <sighs> I come running in here thinking I know where I'm going, but I don't. I don't know where I'm going. Good grief. All right, well, let's watch me flounder around a bit. Well, I've tried to remember how to get down there. Um, I guess we'll go back across here. I thought that there was... Well, I know there's another elevator. I just don't remember how to get to it. Oh. What the... Okay, what does this elevator do for me? The heck? Oh, this, this is it, isn't it? Oh, golly. Look at what I have to run through to get to this place. Oh, gosh, I'm not even there yet. Ah, gee. Oh, my gosh. Is this even right? I don't even know. Um... Wow, if this is the path, this is one hell of a path. Oh, no! No! Bad. Bad thing. Oh, this is the one that's hard to kill, too. Ah, oh, 
jeez. I'm still not dead. Damn. Here, okay. Whew, that was quite a trek. Uh, well, hopefully there's a stake down here. I don't see one, but man, when I die to this, I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting back down here. Good gravy, that's a path and a half. I don't see a stake down here, so... Uh, let's see, what do I have ready? Um, I've got... The, I'll get the marionette soldier dudes and the jellyfish. Um, I mean, obviously I have no idea what it is that we're going to be facing here, but let's try... Well, Lone wolves are plus five. Jellyfish is plus five. And these guys are like a different level. I feel like since they're in this different slot. This guy's a plus four. <laughs> I see why you guys were like, why are you using all your special level up items on this guy? I, you know, I got him up to plus four, but I can't cast this guy. He costs 104. Uh, unless I wear some items that get my FP up higher, but pff, that's a long way to go. Um, ancestral Follower Ashes. I mean, yeah, I have no idea what we're going to face in here. We'll stick with the Marionette Soldier Ashes, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Crystallion. Yeah, 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 keep shooting her. Oh, they're not, oh, she's blocking it all. Oh, gosh. Look at the teeny tiny bit of damage I did to her. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We are doing a microscopic amount of damage to her. Oh, wait, whoa, does that hurt her? I'm not sure why. I keep saying her. Is it a her? Kind of looks like it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she's dead, man. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Alrighty, then. <laughs> Smithing stone miner's bell bearing. Okay. Um. Was I? Was I supposed to attack her? I mean, she stood up like she was going to attack me, so I'm assuming she was going to attack me. But I got a bell bearing from her. Well, thanks for your help, marionettes. They ultimately turned out to be helpful here. That was strange. I mean, she was beyond a fog wall, so I had to assume that she was a boss. Yeah, and she, yeah, you know what? As soon as we walked in, we saw her boss health bar, so she was definitely a boss. Huh, that was strange. But anyway, we got this bell bearing now that we could take back to this lady's. Back at round table hold and see what kind of stuff that this person would have sold. I'm pretty sure it's going to be nothing I'm interested in, but uh, you know, we'll still check it out. Oh, well, that actually turned out to be quite easy. Pretty sure that's not where that fell. <laughs> Don't ask me how it moved over here, but it did. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it floated in the swamp or something, but it, it was over there. Now it's down here. Let's go back to round table hold and uh, see what we could do with this uh, bell bearing thing. The table of lost grace. Okay. I'm trying to remember where these people are. Let's see. You have anything new to say? No. You don't, you don't have anything new to say? Oh, here, I do. Oh, okay. Shine through. It does look like we have a prayer book we can give to him, though, so let's go ahead and do that. Further study. I can help. Give him a prayer book. Uh, give the Dragon Cult prayer book. Sure. That is a work of heresy. Everything we've given him is a work of heresy. Bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. And he has quite a few incantations he could sell to us. May the Golden Order shine through you. And actually, you know, if you look at these... I can happily spare them. 
uh, I mean, like urgent heal heals a small amount of FP. We only need eight faith to use this thing. So, I mean, I guess technically we could use it, right? Same, th okay, yeah, this is the only one. This one here requires 12 faith. You see the little X uh, in the upper right-hand corner there. Uh, this one here, apparently I have enough faith to use. Don't have enough runes to buy it, but I do have enough faith. Surge, O Flame, incinerates area before caster with Stream of Fire. We could do this one too. Catch Flame momentarily sparks flame from hand. These other ones require a bit more faith. But uh, even some of them don't require a whole lot of faith, so we could maybe equip a medallion uh, that boosts our faith enough so that we could use these. I don't know. May the golden order shine through you. Really don't know what we'd get from that, since they'd probably be very low level. Ah. Okay, we have nothing for or from him. Let's go give these two this bell bearing and see what we get. So bizarre. Uh, offer a bell bearing. Offer smithing miners bell bearing one. Does that mean there's more than one of these? Okay. Okay. Uh, do I need to leave and then... Where do I see what that person... Do I need to leave and come back to see what was being sold? I, I still only have Thop's bell bearing. When do I see the results of the bell bearing I just gave them? I don't know, man. Is there anything else for me to do in here? Journey to the capital. Okay. Two fingers will do. Yeah. Okay. Um. We got Roger here. You got anything to do to say, buddy? Always good to see you, son. Okay, we have nothing. Well, I mean, oh hi. Oh. His skills. Looks like we have the attributes to use any of these, really. But they're just so wimpy. Oh, these are actually ashes of war, anyway. So. Doesn't it tell me whether I have these or not already? And then all this stuff I've been doing, and I still have not found well, I took you for no matter the uh, smithing stone that I need. So I still have not found another smithing stone five. I mean, good grief. I have picked up some stuff here, though, maybe. Can't do anything with these guys. I can't do anything with anybody because I don't have enough runes or I don't have enough grave glove wart to do anything do I that's funny because I thought I picked up more grave glove wart okay there yeah I picked up some where I could boost these guys up but oh well all right I guess we'll get the heck out of here um where do I want to go now okay I actually let's just look at the map Let's go, let's see, where's my beacon that I laid down earlier? Can I not see the beacon from down here? Great. Um, I th oh, there's my beacon right there. Okay, so I think I wanted to go back to the artist's shack and then go down here. And I think we could maybe drop off this ledge, maybe? I think. So since I'm lazy and I'm probably not going to edit it out, that sound you just heard is the uh, garage door opener. The um, My office is directly above the garage and uh, oh, my girlfriend comes and goes. Um, you know, she has to use the garage door opener to get the car out of the garage and it's quite loud. <laughs> so that's what you just heard. So you were curious. Okay, so I think this is where we drop down off the edge here. 
Oh my gosh, I gotta go get this ruin fragment. It's so important. Oh, that's a, that was a sanctuary stone. Okay, well, I don't know what those are for either. Ooh, we got a uh, dude here. Oh, damn. And from him, we get nothing. I mean, we would have gotten replenished to our cerulean flask. Okay, let's bring this up. We're gonna get rid of this marker. And, um... Well, I thought there was a way down from here. Why did I think there were steps here? Wait a minute, is it over here? Yeah, here they are. Okay, we got a step here. And we got one here. Ooh, there's actually a site down here to rest at. Okay, that's exciting. Good boy. Good torrent. Yarburg. Interesting. Huh. Little place here. Smithy's on level three. Three of them. Oh, it's Jarburg. Why did I say Yarburg? It's Jarburg. Because we got jars. And this guy down here. The jars are a very, very much a mystery to me. Because, you know, early on in the game we met a jar that was that size, the big one, and he was friendly towards us, and then every jar we've met since then has been hostile towards us, so what the hell? Jarberg. So, I guess we're gonna fight some jars because, uh, they're not gonna be friendly towards us. I don't know why these would suddenly be friendly. But we're gonna go over here To the site first. Set up a home base. Jarberg. All right, let's see if there's anything this way first. There's a hole. Oh, it's another one of those, like, uh, gravesite places with a bunch of runes. Hmm. Looking off this way. Okay, we... Um, I mean, I guess we could just go ahead and do that right now since we're here. Let's see what's over here. Golden Rune 2. Pick it up. Golden Rune 6. Golden Rune 1. Golden Rune 2. Golden Rune 3. Uh, 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 hold, hold on now. Golden Rune 3. Okay, just some free runes. Get your free runes here. Okay. And that is the end of that. Very peaceful place. Nothing going on over here. It's kind of nice, actually. Doesn't look like there's anything down there for us. Even if we could get down there. These mysterious towers above us here. This first one requires some kind of item to place on a pedestal. We don't know what that item is. There's lots of pretty flowers here that I'm just going to help myself to because that's the kind of guy I am. 
What's this? Cracked pot. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. It's nice to have. Even though I really haven't been using those things much at all. Oh, here's some of these uh, tarnished golden sunflowers. <laughs> Just helping myself to all their flowers. Let's see if we can get up here and get this thing. A ritual pot. Okay. Trina's lily. So rare. Green is really lily. That pot over there is moving, or jar over there is moving. <laughs> this place is so cute with all the flowers. <laughs> I'll just slurp all these up. Another item. Another cracked pot. Okay. Well, are these their babies? That I'm taking from them. More items in there, more flowers over here. Oh, here's some jars. Let's see if they are hostile towards me. Well, no, I don't think they're gonna be. Hey guys, what's up? Acquire materials. Oh, okay, but oh, there was a sunflower nearby there. Well, they're not hostile. I can't lock on to them. Okay. They're just kinda hanging out. In that case, let's run back here and Say hi, if we can, to this guy up here. Okay. Nothing to say to these guys either. Is this one dead? I mean, it's moving a little bit. These guys have faces. I mean... I mean, you could maybe make out a face there. I don't know if it's actually a face or just the design of the... ...jar. Okay, we got another little dude up here. Can we talk to any of these people? Oh, we can. Hey, dude. Tell me about your village. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Uh, I'll be your potentate. I'm no potentate. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. I'm no potentate. Oh. Well... I'm sorry. That's it, huh? Alright, I changed my mind. I'll be your potentate. Cuz. You'll be our potentate after all, then? Sure. I'll be your potentate. Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, Cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Oh, here's my hands. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is <laughs> it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. I need slick, slidey hands? <laughs> what? Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Potentate or not, come back and visit me. When you can. Hmm. Okay then. Don't look so glum. We can still chat. Come back and visit me. I need slick and slidey hands, apparently. How do I get slick and slidey hands? I don't know. But I'm, I'm excited that I got to talk to one of them. So that was cool. And there's a bunch of stuff down here to pick up. So that's exciting as well. Gosh, is it? This stuff is so pretty. Stuff that you could pick up. A 
ritual pot. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we are really loading up. Got a little chimney there. Okay, this is where we were just a moment ago. These two little dudes here. Potentate. I don't know what that word means. What are you doing, man? This guy's sitting here. He's covering his eyes or something. I'm gonna take your uh, item, dude. Another cracked pot. Living jar shard. There's the moon up there. I don't want to get transfixed by the moon and walk off that ledge. Are these clouds going overhead? A lot of changing, change of light here. There's a jar over here. Can't talk to him. Hey, what's up? You don't mind if I uh, take these plants that you're sitting here trying to take, do you? Do, you do, can I hop on top of you? Can I hop on pop? No? Okay. Well, if you ever find yourself in need of uh, some crafting materials, this is the place to go. Plus, uh, if you have slicky slidey, slicky slidey hands, you could be potentate. It's a long way down, man. Yeah, there's um, so many things that I could go online to look up. I generally hesitate to do that when I'm playing a game because I like to play it as blind as possible, but I don't really think that anything's going to be spoiled for me, really. I, I guess things that could be spoiled are I might find out ahead of, a ahead of time that there's a boss around the corner or something. Uh, that has actually happened before when I looked things up, but uh, the story is so convoluted and... Uh, doesn't make any sense to me anyway, so it doesn't, it's not like I'm like gonna like have the story spoiled if I go look for help. So if I think about it, I'll go look at some of these things. I'll go look at what this potentate business is. Uh, I'll go look to see, you know, what item I'm supposed to put up there. Um, and then what was what was something else that I just recently wanted to know? Oh, I need to understand that whole duplicating of remembrances thing because I duplicated it, but nothing seemed to happen, so I didn't understand that at all. I mean, I, I may have an item or something that makes my hands slippery, but I'm not going to, like, go through all my items one by one to see what that is, especially not on camera. So... Anyway, that's Jarberg, I believe. A little place to remember when we finally have our slick, slicky, slidey hands. So in the meantime... Um... Boy, oh boy, oh boy, look at all these places. I mean, they're... Can I sort these? Doesn't look like I could even sort these in any... order at all. But, um... Boy, oh boy, look at this. Look at them all. I'm just going through this list here. Roads and Catacombs. Didn't I go there? Somebody in the comments mentioned Roads and Catacombs and that I turned around or I didn't go in. Is that right? Let's see, we're at Converted Tower. Revenger Shack. Did I go in here? I don't know why I wouldn't have. Why would I not have gone in here? And these places look similar enough that I really don't know. Ouch. Boy, he really hit me hard. Grave Violet. I picked that up from far away. I f yeah, I, I've been here. 
but is this a case of that I left um, because I didn't want to uh, go start a fight? I could have swore I just saw an imp on the wall. That was weird. I could have swore maybe it was these vines. But I could have swore I saw an imp clinging, clinging to the wall. Um, yeah, I mean, did I come in here and then it was like, oh, I don't want to fight the boss. I don't, I don't remember where the boss is. I don't think he's down here in these, um, Yeah, these are the doors that opened. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll be doggone. It looks like maybe I haven't fought this boss yet. Okay, let's do it. Let's go in here. And um, let's see. I played around a little bit with um, the uh, marionette dudes. Should, should try. I should be trying out some different guys. Let's try these soldier ashes, even though they're only level one. Let's, let's play around a little bit. See what's in here. Spirit Color Snail. Your name is Snail? Wow. I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't mean to make fun of your name. Okay, so... These Raya Lucaria guys... They're gonna go down quick. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, um, how come I'm not doing any damage to him? Am I, am I even hitting him? Okay. What the... Okay, these Raya Lucaria guys suck, at least for this battle. Yeah, they're both dead. Um, okay. I'm doing no damage to him at all. Okay, we need to figure out... Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, I, I did zero damage to this guy. Yeah, I was swinging at him. And doing no damage at all. Zero. So what is the story with this guy? Oh, I want these things... I must have this root resin. I must. Uh, okay, so... Raya Lucaria, guys. Not worth it at all. At least for this battle. So, let's try somebody else here. I mean, this guy was all over the place. Um... I mean, I even worry about my dogs. Um... Hmm. What are the ones that keep respawning? I think it's these guys, isn't it? I don't know. Let's just try some stuff here. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, get away from me. I need. I just want to explore the place a little bit so I can figure out how to kill you. Is there something over here I'm supposed to be doing something to? No. Uh, over here is like a light. Okay, that's not doing anything. Well, there goes one of my... Mi oh, there goes both of my militia men. Okay, why am I doing zero damage to this guy? My militia men are coming back. Wait a minute. There's, is that a health bar over top of you? Ah, crap. Damn it. Okay. Uh, are my militia men dead for good now? What's going on here? Oh, jeez. Damn it. Oh, no. Damn it. Ah, I just wanted to get that first health bar down to see what would happen. Okay, well, so the skeletal dudes didn't really do a whole lot for me either. I'm gonna try, um, let's try this bird that flies around. That might be better. Instead of something that just kind of like sits on the ground since the sky is all over the freaking place. Let's try that. Oops. We'll try uh, the bird. Let's try the bird. 
We'll give him the bird. Hmm. What's that? Why, why do I have this red stuff on me here? Oh, good lord. There goes the bird. Down he goes. Oh man, I wanted to get in front of him. Huh? What the hell's going on here? What was that? <laughs> what the? What? Okay. I'm gonna pummel this poor little snail. <laughs> okay. All right, Glintstone Sorcerer Ashes. Okie dokie. Okay. What is going on? I get. Does this. I think this bird maybe has a sec second effect to it. Glintstone Sorcerer Ashes. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of a glintstone sorcerer. Spirit of a Raya Lucaria sorcerer wearing a stone crown. A scholar of the Olivinus Conspectus who has mastered the use of the glintstone star's sorcery. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, so this, uh... This thing that I've got now... Whoops. Uh... Spirit of a fierce hawk that faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago. When the true storm raged, its cries embolden its fellows in battle and the tempestuous winds that encircle it shred through foes. Okay, so he has this cry that emboldens me. And that's why I had that effect. Okay, well, cool. Thank you for whoever reminded me to come back here. I wish I remembered who it was, but yeah. Thank you. I've probably done that more than once, actually, where, you know, I did the thing where I find the boss wall and I'm like, nope, not going in there. Want to use my runes first. And that was certainly a case of that. And now we have defeated yet another boss and got more spirit ashes. So let's bring up the map here and we are going to go way back here to where we started. And the reason we're going back here is because there is uh, somebody who we uh, never fought. There he is right there off in the distance. We're going to go see if we can't take this guy on. Let's give it a shot. I don't know. This might be a huge mistake. But uh, let's see how this goes. We're going to summon our um, friendly bird uh, to see if the bird will help us here. But uh, we've never fought this guy. So let's see how this goes. Okay, Tree Sentinel. Got a good hit off on him there. Boy, he, uh... Taking care of my, my hawk. But uh, the hawk is keeping him distracted. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, I was actually afraid of doing that. <laughs> we get a golden halberd. That's pretty cool. And we got a lot of runes for that as well. Golden halberd. Let's check it out. No. Where is it? Oh, we can't wield this thing. We don't have enough faith. Weighty halberd, forged of gold, wielded by the Order of Tree Sentinels, heavily equipped knights, deals holy damage. A masterfully crafted weapon that lives up to its heft, but is difficult for one of mere human strength to wield as the Golden Val strength. Skill passed down from antiquity 
among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge to honor the Erd Tree in battle, granting self and nearby alleys increased attack power and defense. I wonder if that would stack with the bird. Um, unfortunately, I am uh, not strong enough to, or not of enough faith to wield this thing. Oh, that is an interesting. Uh, uh. That just doesn't look natural. That's the light attack, strong attack. This is me tapping. Light attack. This is me tapping, strong attack. This is charged attack. No back step. Crouch. Got a little side swipe there with crouch. Crouched. Strong attack. Crouch strong attack is the same as non crouch strong, at strong attack. And then run, light attack. Okay, we get a nice little poke there with run and light attack. Oh, you my guinea pig. And uh, run and strong attack gives us that. Okay. That's well, pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Can't quite wield it effectively. Without my faith of 12. My faith is only 9, so I'm a long way from using that. So, I've had uh, a suggestion to do some invasions. Um, to do the uh, quest for... Uh, what's his face? The... Jeez, I don't even know where he is now. Um... Oh, look, the little dude shows up at Jarbar. Jarbarn. <laughs> uh, to do some invasions. Yeah, with this guy. Boy, there's no... S I guess this is the closest I could get to him here. Um, I'm going to need to... Before I can do that, uh, I'm going to need to re-enable uh, anti-cheat, because I turned that off a while back, thinking that that was the reason my system was crashing. So I need to re-enable that and then get back online and play that. Uh, but maybe we'll do that next time if I if I think to re-enable the anti-cheat. If I don't do that, I don't know. We'll figure out what to do next time. But I'm going to end it right here. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Sure, do hope you had a good time. I did. If you had a good time, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.